You're cool if I uh, record this? Okay, good, good. Yeah, I'm not going to use your full name, Jim, uh, and I'm not going to put you on speakerphone. Uh, that way, you know, you're, you're totally anonymous, but you have a, uh, and thanks for letting me do it. Uh, folks, I'm the Franchise King. Joel Lababa, I'm the phone with Jim, who called me about um, low-cost franchise opportunities like uh, uh, Chick-fil-A. And, uh, you know, you just, uh, hey, Bear, what's up, buddy? Um, you just found out about uh, or heard about uh, the Amazon opportunity. So I wanted to uh, kind of get through this. First of all, um, with Chick-fil-A, it's true that uh, your total cost is $10,000, which is awesome. Uh, and and Chick-fil-A uh, franchises, as they're known as, um, are big money makers. And as an owner, uh, you can make uh, uh, good money. Uh, but here's the deal. There are, from what I have heard and read, about 40 to 50,000 applications sent into Chick-fil-A headquarters every year for the chance to become a Chick-fil-A franchise owner. Uh, first of all, uh, you know, Chick-fil-A is a little cultish, so there's a, there's a big fan base. Uh, second of all, um, you know, for $10,000, you can be an owner, but, but there's a lot of small print. Uh, for instance, you do not, uh, right, right, right. Exactly. Okay, so you heard that too. That's right. You do not own the building, the lease. Um, uh, everything is under Chick-fil-A's corporate umbrella. Uh, so, I mean, talk about no control. You really have no control. Um, you know, their name is on the lease. Their name is pretty much on everything. Uh, you are a manager. So for six days a week, because, you know, right, they're, they're, they're closed on Sunday. For six days a week, uh, you are in the store. Uh, you are working on the line, you are working the counter, whatever it takes. Uh, you know, you, it, it's hard work. Uh, the rewards can be can be very good. But um, it's really, uh, I mean, it's almost like a, a lottery. Uh, you have to be a certain type of person to even be uh, considered. Now, right. So, yeah, so you want to know about that religious thing, right? Well, there is a religious aspect to it. Um, uh, I don't know if it's on their website anymore, but on the Chick-fil-A website, it used to read something to the effect of, uh, we are closed on Sundays and we, uh, encourage you or expect you to, uh, uh attend church services, uh, faith-based community kind of events, etc. Uh, so if you are not Christian, um, personally, um, and I have no data to back this up, but personally, um, I don't think that you can become a Chick-fil-A franchisee. Uh, you know, their, their secret sauce to approving people is really secret. Um, uh, there's not many people that know it. So uh, anyway, so for $10,000, uh, you know, you can become a Chick-fil-A franchise owner, but it's really a different kind of franchise. It's not like any other franchise. As a matter of fact, um, I'm still shocked that they can get away with calling it a franchise because you're you're not even really um, uh, legally bound uh, uh, as much as a franchisee in another type of organization. All right. Right. What about Amazon? All right. Uh, the Amazon delivery uh, business, which, by the way, is not a franchise. Um, for $10,000, uh, you can buy in. And uh, for that, I believe you get a, a territory. I think it's defined. But uh, it doesn't include uh, the vehicles that you're going to need. Um, uh, you need 10, 20, 30 vehicles in an area uh, to really, really make a go of it. And uh, it, it's your credit that's going to be on the line as far as I'm concerned. You're going to have to lease these vehicles. Uh, Amazon is not leasing them for you, as far as I can tell by reading their, their limited information. Uh, so the investment is really going to be more than ten thousand uh, dollars. You are going to have a lot of credit on the line. But having said that, I mean, gosh, driving around a van with the Amazon insignia, the Amazon logo, it's pretty powerful stuff. And if you can build, I mean, it's a it's a fleet business. If you can build a business with ten or twenty or thirty or forty vans cruising around town delivering things, uh, you have an opportunity to to do pretty well. Uh, you know, obviously, you'll have to keep your expenses down, et cetera. Uh, and I would imagine that, it, you know, it's not that flexible because you really have to be on spot all the time with deliveries and your drivers have to show up. So I would imagine you would probably have to be good at HR and managing, you know, being an operations person. Not a lot of sales, but a lot of operations. So if you have an operations background, 
and you want to uh, uh, ride uh, the coattails of a huge brand, Amazon, uh, it might it might be worth a look. Now here's real quick. Here's the downside, Jim, of um, these ten thousand dollar franchises uh, or non franchises. Um, it's kind of a slippery slope because once you find out the, the details about these opportunities, uh, you say, well, maybe I'm not interested in that. Maybe there's another one out there that's for you know I can get it for around ten thousand dollars. The thing is, there really isn't. Any legitimate franchise opportunity is going to cost at least fifty or sixty thousand dollars total uh, up front, uh, but more than likely one hundred fifty to two hundred thousand uh, dollars. You might need inventory, you might need a location, vehicles, uh, employees. Uh, you're going to have to build out the location. Um, even a home-based business, home-based franchise like a consulting franchise, is still going to be way over fifty thousand dollars because of uh, the working capital you're going to need, marketing, training. There's a lot of stuff. So. Um, um, I know that, that it's easy to get excited about opportunities that, that sound really affordable, uh, but like anything, you have to read the small print. It's like, you know, you go to a restaurant and you know that a lobster dinner is going to be 40 bucks or 50 bucks. Uh, if you find a lobster dinner for $2.50, um, first of all, it's uh, probably going to be a, sh a piece of shrimp or a craw daddy uh, disguised as a lobster. It's not going to be the real thing. So um, uh, don't get your hopes up too high. Uh, but uh, there are opportunities out there that are very low cost, uh, and, and you can find a lot uh, of information on that on, on, my, on my website and my blog, thefranchiseking.com and thefranchiseking.com. Uh, yes, thefranchiseking.com forward slash blog, exactly. What else, Jim? And you're, I know, you're bummed out. You know, uh, you know marketers today want you to click. They want you to click the ad or, or, or the post. And uh, something that says a $10,000 franchise opportunity uh, is very clickable, shall we say. Uh, so it can be disappointing, I know. But uh, uh, if you want to become your own boss, there are ways to do it. You don't have to necessarily spend $200,000. Keep looking. Keep looking. If I can help, let me know. All right. All right, Jim. Thanks a lot for calling. Bye-bye. Well, you heard it. Uh, I am the Franchise King, Joel Lababa. And thank you for watching this, this quick video. If I can help you with a low-cost franchise opportunity, any kind of franchise opportunity, check me out, thefranchiseking.com, uh, or contact me, joel at thefranchiseking.com. Thanks for watching.